All right, welcome back to another video. Today, I wanted to talk about my Nixco configuration that I've been using. I just started recently using Neary on it. I did originally have Hyperland on here, which I still do have Hyperland available for me to switch to through SDVM or if I have like Lie, whatever display manager I have enabled at the time, I can you know still switch to Hyperland from there. And I kind of just want to talk about the different things that I have been enjoying on my configuration and some of the things that you guys might find interesting. But right now I am on the Neary desktop. As you can see here, I have been doing some gaming on here, which has been pretty good. I have had some issues with full screen when I have the game in full screen and I move my mouse to another monitor and come back. It doesn't always re-register that the game is open. So sometimes I have to like switch the actual workspace and then go back to it and then like re-register. I found that if I put the app in actual full screen instead of borderless, it does help with that, but it does have some issues when it comes to that. So, you know, obviously not perfect, but everything gaming wise have been running you know, pretty smoothly. Really the only two games I'm playing right now is the finals and Marvel Rivals. And both of those have been running great with no issues on this setup. As far as my configuration goes, I have this uh, NixOS configuration installed on three different devices right now. I'm actually working on a deck version for the Steam Deck. The deck version will have some specific deck related things. So all the controller support will be enabled on there and also have Steam, Steam Deck mode, which is essentially just going to make sure it boots up into the Steam game session automatically bypassing the SD or anything like that, because when I first did it, I just installed it the regular way and I had lie, I had populating originally. And when I did that, you're not able to actually get the keyboard <laughs> to pop up on there. So with the Steam Deck, you obviously got to jump straight into the Steam OS on there. So I did change that. So that is now working and I can kind of show that off in probably another video, but it's not perfect yet. I haven't got everything working the way I want it, but I am working on having that available for my Steam Deck to literally have my configuration on all the devices that I do have which right now I have on my laptop, my desktop, and the Steam Deck. For whatever reason, I can't install NixOS on my Deuce Flow Z13, I think it is. It's like a tablet PC. For whatever reason, it always fails whenever I try to install NixOS in general, not even my configuration, it's NixOS. Pretty much anything else I've been able to install in there, Arch, you know, Fedora, whatever, for whatever reason, it always fails. And I might have to look further into that. But each desktop I have on here has slightly different configurations and they have slightly different things enabled based on the features that I want on that specific desktop. This one I did re-enable the SCDM because my resolution on my screen is fairly large, as you can see in the video. And because of that, it does not fill up the entire screen for the lie. So I switched to SEDM for that. It works well in here, but I have one screen on my laptop, one screen on the deck. I did use lie for both of those. And that has a cool effect where it has the matrix effect as the background, which I stole from one of my uh, Discord members, D-dubs, and I've been liking that one. So thanks to him. On my configuration here, I have been using Neary lately. If I go over to Neary, I do not have it like in the actual Nix configuration just yet. That I actually don't know how to do. <laughs> One of the actually same guy, D-Dubs, was working on trying to get that into like a, get the configuration to be Nixified, as we like to call it. So I'm kind of waiting on him to get that configured so I can actually have this in my configuration. But this is just the configuration I have for Neary right now. Right now I do have all of my monitors and stuff set up on there and everything has been running uh, pretty smoothly. One thing I do like about the, the Neary configuration is it's not a huge file and there's not a lot going on and the documentation is really good. I have been enjoying that portion of it. I did steal this bar as well. I really like this bar that I have at the top of the screen as well and it is matching my, you know, theme and colors using Stylix. All of that is working really well. I like the way that has turned out. Yeah, so in the actual Neary configuration, I am using the Waybar on DSH. I actually think I might switch to Fish. I have been liking Fish when I was on a different Hyperland configuration. I might switch to Fish for that, but right now ZSH is working just fine. It was the default when I forked the original configuration from ZanyOS. So that's kind of what I stuck with for now. I am using Kitty as my terminal and that has been, you know, working really well. I, I love Kitty. Kitty's always been my favorite terminal. So that's the one I've been always using. And then for my actual Rofi menu for the launcher, which also matches the Stylix option as well. 
I just reduced that to a minimal app launcher. So that works pretty well. I was using the actual, what's it called? I was using, yeah, Vicene, I think is how it's pronounced, but I actually just turned that off because the build process when you run it is extremely long. So it just took forever to do new builds and stuff like that. So that's one reason and I had a bunch of cool features, but I found myself not really using it. I typically when I'm, you know, launching application, I just go in here and pick the application and launch it. I forgot to use half the features available in there. So I thought I'd just go back to the row. It was easier and much lighter on my configuration. I am using the Neary through home manager. That's how I have it enabled through my next configuration as well. And that's pretty much it as far as the configuration goes. And then I am working on a couple different install scripts. I have a regular install script. If you guys want to check out my configuration, you can to install it. And then I do have one that I'm working on to install on a Steam Deck to add the new host for the Steam Deck down here. And then when you add that, it'll give you instructions to get that onto the Steam Deck itself. I'm working on that to be able to anybody to be able to come in here, use my configuration, and then make one for the Steam Deck. I do have a regular new host one that is just to create a new host for another, another configuration if you want to add another host to it. So that has been working pretty well. If you guys want to try it out, you definitely can. I'll put the link in the description below. If you have any suggestions for me, definitely let me know in the comments as well and what kind of what you think of what I got going on so far. It's, it's a work in progress, so it's definitely beta. It's not by any means completed or fully fleshed out. There will be bugs and issues, but let me know what's going on. I'll try to help you out the best I can as NixOS itself is new for me as well. So if you've been liking my content, please consider liking and subscribing and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.